Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another presidential election prediction, this time between the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Um, before I start the video, go ahead and make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, anyway, let's get right into it. Um, safe Democrat states are going to usually be the usual uh, and this time that they are. Um, I think Chuck Schumer is more charismatic than McConnell, however, both of them seem pretty off-putting. I think that Schumer could actually have a Rust Belt appeal, McConnell possibly a Southern, you know, Arizona, texas -y, or appeal, but Schumer, I think, will do well in this uh, Rust Belt and more rural areas, McConnell would do better, and they'd be better. Now, I, I don't even think he'd do better in the South, um, but I do think that Schumer has an advantage against McConnell simply because I just don't think, I think McConnell's an awful candidate. He doesn't have much charisma. He, frankly, he doesn't look particularly good. Now, I know Chuck Schumer doesn't look particularly good, but McConnell just does not look, you know, healthy in general. Not not that he's, you know, fat or anything. He just doesn't look like he's, he doesn't look good. I don't know how else to put it. He doesn't look like he has uh, the look. I don't know. You know what I mean. Schumer, I would say a little bit more so. He has a, a better, I guess, appearance than McConnell, if you want to put it that way. Likely Democrats, Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia will all also be likely, as well as Minnesota and Maine at large, uh, will be likely Democrat races. Likely Republican races. We're going to see how many there are. Um, I'm actually not going to be characterizing any Republican races as likely. Uh, but for lean Democrat races, um, lean Democrat races will be Nevada, New Hampshire, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. All of those races will be lean to the Democrat Party. Um, you know, I think that Chuck Schumer, like I said, has that rust of popularity and could easily win it back against a candidate like Mitch McConnell. For lean McConnell, I see Texas being a lean McConnell state, as well as Georgia. I mean, not Georgia, as well as Arizona. Um, and I see Iowa being a lean McConnell state, getting up to 182 electoral votes. Um, the, this is a race that, McC those are races that McConnell, that, that frankly would be uh, more toward, actually, instead, instead from Arizona, Texas and I would be much more Republican, while Arizona would possibly be a bit more Democrat, but, you know, that's up for interpretation. Um, I do want to get the video quickly, you know, through, so, uh, so you guys can, don't have to listen to me speak for so long, but anyway. Uh, for tilt Democrat races, I would say that Wisconsin would be a tilt Democrat race, which would get Chuck Schumer above the 270 threshold, making him the next president, as well as Nebraska second. Um, let's shift to some more tilt McConnell states, would be Ohio and North... Actually, I'm not going to characterize North Carolina. Ohio would be a tilt Democrat, a Republican state, as well as Florida would also be a tilt Democrat state, while Georgia and North Carolina would be tilt Democrats. That means that Chuck Schumer... Oh, and... Um, Main second will be tilt Democrat. This means that Chuck Schumer will go on to become the 47th president of the United States of America, defeating Mitch McConnell in a, not a landslide election, but a good election, a good win for the Democrats in a presidential election, um, and he will go on to become the 47th president. Uh, if I sound a bit tired in this video, I did not get much sleep last night, was doing a good amount of homework, um, so sorry for my appearance today, but hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. But anyway... Make sure to like the video, comment any suggestions below, uh, and subscribe to the channel. We are very, very much nearing 200, so we are at 199 subscribers. If you want to become the 200th, then click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so once more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.